Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to be talking about the perspective correction module. When you make photos of parallel lines, especially at an angle like in this photo, they tend to be distorted and look like they are converging towards an invisible point. That's why you need perspective correction to try to restore the geometry of the image to as close to reality as possible. The first control we have is rotation. And that's more or less the same one that you have in the crop rotate module, which allows you to rotate the image around its center. Mainly this would help us correct a skewed horizon. As you can see, the image is just now rotating clockwise and if I move the control to the right, then the image would rotate counterclockwise. The next two controls are lens shift vertical and lens shift horizontal. They help us correct conversion lines, one for converging vertical lines and the other for converging horizontal lines. Let's try it and see what it does. As you can see, this one is pulling it to the left is stretching the image at the bottom or compressing it on top. Depends on how you'd like to see it. And for this image, I'll reset this one. For this image, it's probably better to pull it to the right, and that does exactly the opposite. And as you can see, those vertical lines here are now being separated, and those here that were converging, if we continue, we would be able to make them parallel again. And then the same for the horizontal lines. Let's reset the vertical one just to show this one properly. This compresses the left side or expands the right side and to the right does exactly the opposite. The last one is shear, which shears the image along one of its diagonals. So it's as if we're turning the image along this diagonal or along the other diagonal, as you can see. And this is helpful when correcting vertical and horizontal perspective simultaneously. Next, we have the Guides drop-down menu, which allows you to activate guides, which overlays a horizontal and vertical guides on the image to help us with the perspective correction if you're doing it manually using the above controls. Next, we have Automatic Cropping, and that gives you two options. First one is the largest area, which would automatically crop to the largest area possible after the perspective correction to get rid of the black parts of the image that we saw. Let's demonstrate. There you go, it's automatically cropped to the largest area. If you select original format, you would get a crop in the original format and you can change it if you want to. Next you have the lens model and this controls the lens focal length and camera crop factor and aspect ratio. If it's set to generic 
than a focal length of 28 on a 35 millimeter full, full frame camera is assumed. If you set it to specific, then you can do that yourself. So if you know your camera crop factor, and if you have the focal length of your lens, you can adjust that manually. On specific, you can as well adjust the aspect, which would just change the aspect ratio of the image if it's not correct or if you want to change that. Next, you have the automatic fit and get structure buttons. I'll start with the get structure because it helps with the previous one and you can as well use it as a guide for manual corrections. The first button is analyze the structure of the image. Darktable automatically detects and evaluates the lines in the photo and then color codes them to help you with the correction. You've got green, which are converging vertical lines, red, which are vertical lines that do not converge, blue, converging horizontal lines, and yellow here, which are non-converging horizontal lines. Gray are the other lines that are not useful for the perspective correction of the image, which uh, I don't see any in this image. The next button deletes the structure information. And the last one allows us to toggle the display off and on. And this one, as I said, deletes it. Now the automatic fit. Those three buttons do the hard work automatically for you based on the edge detection analysis that we just saw. The first one does that only for vertical lines. So Darktable automatically tries to correct the perspective to make the convergent vertical lines non-convergent or parallel. The next one does the same, but then for horizontal lines. And you can see the controls here changed automatically for you. And the last one does it for both vertical and horizontal lines, as you can see. And here you have the final result, automatically corrected for vertical and horizontal lines and automatically crop to the largest area. That's about it for perspective correction. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you have any questions, corrections or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.